I'm I been in the Bentley smoking moon hey. rocks. Hey. Pocket full of motherfucking blue. blue. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the On The Gas Show. I'm back with another video. We're out here at Roman because have you seen on the past video, we had dropped off the giveaway. The two-week giveaway at Roman's because we were having issues with the suspension in the rear. Once we added the box in the back, which was the blow-through, it added a lot more weight than what we thought. So it was really, really, really low. It was actually rubbing on the tires. We dropped it off yesterday. They were supposed to finish it yesterday because it was supposed to be a quick flip. They ran into some issues. They actually removed the flip kit and added shackles and hangers but it was still too low and it was still rubbing on the tire fortunately they didn't get done with it yesterday but they're done today so i'm here picking it up i just pulled up to roman it's a gloomy day it's actually yesterday was hot and today is cold and cloudy and it was actually raining in the morning but it got cleared out everything's dried out right now that's good because i don't want to get the giveaway truck dirty even though we're gonna put it on the trailer it still gets dirty we're actually pimping the raptor chevy today i love this truck man that's just so comfortable it rides pretty good the seats badass like everything just fits badass this is actually my daily i've been having this truck for a couple of years now because i've been, always been a fan of cat eyes i just like their interiors i like the dash i like everything everything everything's just everything is perfect so we're pimping the chevy raptor right now so i just want to let you guys know so let's get off let's go talk to roman and see what he says styling <laughs> So this is closest we could possibly get it. So you let me know there's either too low or there's that. There's no in between. There's no in between. We tried everything. And when I mean everything, I mean we tried everything. So what it had before, it had a flip kit or what? Okay, so it had a flip kit, uh -huh. but with the weight of the thing and the air shocks, it was set like at a seven. So what we did was, okay, let's pick it up one inch. We picked it up one inch, we took the shocks out. When we cut the exhaust, the bitch went, Doof. All the way, all, all the way down. down. So it was like literally about half an inch from the tire. So we're like, all right, let's try something else. Put new shocks on there, heavier duty shocks to pick it up, and it still went like that. We took all that off, swapped out the leaf springs for another ones that we had here, thinking that hey, you know what, they're wow. off on the extended cap, probably go up. Slipped that out, it went up like maybe that much, but like over the tire. So took that off again, and Damn. then we did a four inch, which on a four inch is supposed to be a lot bigger than that. But we did a four inch with new shocks, and then the factory flip kit, and that's how low we got it. Okay, so we got what a couple of fingers? Well, I mean, it's like a two inch difference. What it is this? Rate, is it? Nice. Is I this mean, like a two four? No, it's like a four four. Yeah. Oh, it has four in the front. It has four in the back because they had a four six on it originally. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And what oh. they did was because all the weight, it went all the way down. Okay. It ain't bottoming out. It, it fucking bounces smooth. There's nothing hitting, nothing binding up or nothing, but you do have that rake. In so, a way, it looks sporty, but in a way, it's kind of like, man, it looks nice when they're even, you know? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's a little half of my liking, you know, but Do you want to go one inch up in the front. No, I think we're going to pimp it all like this and see, see how it looks. And then if it's just too high, we'll probably just bring it back. We could do the other way and we could put like helper bags or something in the rear. Yeah. But the thing about helper bags is that the minute you start putting air in there, it starts getting stiff. Yeah. Bouncy. Yeah. So then, I mean, we tried everything we did. We tried this flip kit just to try it out. Uh, we tried another flicker that we had, Mas Cortito, and these guys stayed here till I think like 9 30, 10 o'clock last night. Last like, night. they were like, hey, wait, what about this? Like, no, take it off. Yeah. Then we did, did the other one, Otra vez, una pulada. I was like, no, it's still too low. Same thing. Well, I mean, like I said, we it's a little high for my liking, but we're gonna try it out like that and then go from there. If it's too high, I'll bring it back. Do, do better. And, and, uh, or just go lower, like one inch from the tire. Well, we did that, and it's it, like you put your knee on it, and you go like that, this and it touches the tire automatically. Right. And it, it was already rubbing even before when it was two inches. Yeah, away yeah, the yeah. Because the pain, I can see me, huh? No, no. We go, we gonna leave it like this for now. We gonna, we gonna, we gonna pimp it out. We are gonna cruise it. You don't think you, it'll you go lower? Well, everything's brand new. Okay, so, so yeah, it probably, you know, it probably my, goes a little. Cuánto, cuánto está pesado, no? I mean, sí, sí. No, sí está pesado. Yeah. Una, so we measure one that we did a two four on. And it's on a 2.4 on 17, bro, the gap's like all the way over here. Oh. So this weight is pushing it down pushing a lot. Down, yeah. On a 3.5, well, y'all seen all the other 3.5s yeah. we did for y'all, there's a, there's a pretty nice size gap. When we did a 3.5 on this one, the way it was supposed to be, it was like, man, half an inch away from the tire. So uh, so right now we have hangers and shackles. Hangers, shackles, and shocks. shocks. And shock extenders, right? Huh? And shock extenders. Okay. That's not too bad. What if, ya no venden shackles más grandes. No, so we, well, they do, but we went to go get them. We tried them, but that's another thing. We tried them on and it hits the bed on top. 
there's a three inch shackle and it hits the bed it hits the bed and yeah. we have to cut the bed you would have to cut the bed out like for make, it wouldn't to hit make, like make a hole on the bed like make a hole on the bed like not just cut a bracket yeah, off not just nothing. cut a bracket i just cut the hole in the bed oh okay and you don't have to cut the hole but the minute you take it from here and you start driving it it starts hitting on the bed yeah, and then yeah. you get a big ass bulge on the bed on the bed yeah, yeah. now nah, the bed's pretty clean we don't want to cut the bed out either because it's it's actually pretty clean right now these guys tried everything so it does have some weight yeah. Unless we bring it all the way down, you're gonna have a stiff, right? Yeah, you're gonna have a stiff, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna rally like a dream. But it does have that rate. Right? No, it's cold, man. It's what he said. But I was like, man, we've never wanted to do that. No. Or quitarle de abajo. Or quitarle una. La, la, la overload de abajo. Like, it's when you get the trailer. Uh huh. We can do that. And this can be cold. It's 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 cold. Not even like, like a medium, maybe. You took a case of a hand? Yes, it's a hand. It's a hand, it's a hand. It's a hand, it's a hand. Yeah. Well, let's go to the gas. here are the real MVP this truck was already set and ready to go but they want me to leave satisfied so we ended up they ended up taking another leaf spring off which is like the preload leaf spring which looks like this so that should drop it just a little bit more the moment of truth is here hopefully it goes a little lower than what it was just so we can be on the safe side because we don't want to go too low either because then it's gonna rub on the on the fender wheel it is. Si se bajó, si se bajó. Se bajó una pulgada. Yeah, earlier yeah, right now it's right there. So, my boys ended up taking this off right here. The overload. Yeah, the overload leaf spring. And it made a little bit of difference, which looks a lot better than what it did before. We're gonna pimp it on like this, and if I want to go lower, well then. Bring it we'll back. take everything over, yeah, take it all off, yeah. and then put helper bags. Yeah. Ah, but it looks it looks like we're gonna keep it like this. Una pulgada, exactly. Yeah. Once yeah. 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 we rolling down the highway, bro, you can't. Wait, well, I don't know if you noticed, but in the pictures you can't tell. No, it looked lower on the picture yeah. that you sent me. It's I mean, just it when you when you get here and you go like that, that's, that's when you see. notice it. You see the gap. Yeah. <laughs> See, before we couldn't do that. The thing is that if it was for me, we'll be riding really low. When are you guys going to be taking this truck home? I don't want y'all to have any issues and if you do if, if a lucky winner is here around in town houston or in texas and if y'all want to go lower y'all know where to come uh -huh. yeah, we'll knock it out. the real mvps right here my boys no. did it like five or don't six Eddie. times yeah don't so Eddie, yeah the real mvps we're gonna be hooking up the trailer on the chevy raptor and then we're gonna load this motherfucker up and go from there see where i thank you yeah all right so I'm pretty happy with the outcome. It's not too low, it's not too high. It just sits right. We, we have left the trailer here yesterday because like I said, we're gonna go and come back and pick it up and I'm gonna back it up. With the Chevy Raptor, the bad thing about this motherfucker is like, you get on all these brand new trucks, the dualies, the diesels, the, the fours and everything. And all these motherfuckers got backup cameras. Well, this hole, this truck ain't got nothing. You just gotta know how to back it up. 
You just gotta watch your mirrors and make sure you're going straight. And uh, hold on, this truck has a kill switch and I'm not gonna tell you guys how, what's the kill switch? Because then y'all jack this motherfucker and we'll see this hole on the north side. Let's back it up. Hopefully I can get it as close as I can with no camera. Back then we used to do it all the time, but you know, you get used to the camera stuff and it just makes life easier. But right now, we ain't gonna use no camera. We're just gonna use our eye and see if we can get it on the motherfucking first try. Well, that was kind of easy because I had help. But if you ain't got no help, well, it's a little trickier. A ver. Oh, okay. Puta madre, la pinche Raptor no puede. All right, so that's it. We got the truck loaded up right now. Like I said, I wanted to get this truck dropped nice and smooth because we are taking it to my boy Hedda. He's gonna be buffing the whole truck, waxing it, maybe even throwing a ceramic coating. We're about to take off from here. Once again, I want to appreciate Roman and the guys for staying up late last night trying to figure out with this truck because it was going too low, too high. Finally, we got the right stance on it right now. So we're gonna be hitting out. Oh no, Roman. Listo. Thank you. Right, bro. Yeah, be yeah. safe. If anything, if we want to go low, we'll bring it back. Yeah. But it looks like uh, we're gonna we're gonna pretty much ride it like that. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. It has a small little rate. I like it. Yeah. All right, let's go. That's important. Boy, that shit we have to be putting in that work, boy. That shit. Oh my god, a squat. Yeah, I think I need to put some shocks in the back because they're kind of weak. You know us. We can't leave nothing just the way it is. We gotta make sure it's nice, smooth and detailed and clean. So we are bringing the truck here with my boy Hera. He is gonna be doing a little buff job just because he's been at a shop. He's been at Manny's for a while. So we need to buff the truck. We need to buff it up and make sure all those swirls are out. And of course he's gonna wash it and clean it. And then he's gonna do a nice little buff. Boy, let's get this bad boy out. Let's see if Hera wants Fresh paint, but it's been at Manny's, so it feels. Oh, uh, yeah, oh, it's free. Yeah, you can hear it. It feels like it's been at a couple of shops now, so it needs it needs a buff. It needs a buff. So okay, one one step, two step buff. Uh, maybe a two step. Let me start coating. No, no, no. Más no un two step buff y un wax, un okay. hand wax. Okay, sí, 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 sí. Eso, lo único que sí me le echa coating a los rines. A los rines, sí. ya está. Para que no se manchen tan 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 gachos. Sí, ya está. Así le echamos. Ah, así le damos a todo. Y arriba. Like I said, this paint is brand new, but it, it's been in a couple of shops, so it needs a full buff. And after that, that's it. Remember, guys, every sticker that you buy gives you 10 inches. So if you buy two stickers, that means you get 20 inches. If you buy three, 
that's 30. This sticker is not gonna roll over to the 2020 giveaway, so this sticker was only for this truck. Get your entries, like I said, we're only a week and a half away for the end of this giveaway. We're doing a two week giveaway on this truck. That's where we're getting ready. We're pretty much doing content on this truck every day. Like I said, brand new paint, brand new wheels, brand new tires, brand new sound system, brand new interior. Everything's brand new. And now we're bringing the truck here with Vojera so he can give it that final touch. And then after here, we'll do a, a little, little cinematics, a little cinematic, little rolling shot. Yes, sir. And then uh, it'll be ready to go. We're gonna drop it off. Quanto tarda? Well, ya sabes, en, dame un día, dos. Okay. Un día, mañana, mañana la bofeamos. So mañana we can get this truck back by Friday, give you guys another update on the truck, some rolling shots, because we did mess with the suspension. It's not as low as the usual trucks that I get, but like I said, this truck is a giveaway truck. This truck, one of you guys is gonna take this truck home, so I don't want you to be having any problem with this truck. I can actually lower it a lot more, but then in my rub, and I don't want any, nobody taking this truck. If somebody from out of town, it's not that easy just to take it somewhere. If you don't know how to mess with the suspension, well, y'all guys are pretty much fucked. I left that at a good right height, so whoever takes this truck home, it's gonna be riding smooth, clean, and it's gonna be ready to go. That's pretty much it for today, guys. Remember, shop online, get your entries. Every other thing that you buy, if you buy a shirt, if you buy a hat, if you buy a sticker, we'll go for that 2020 giveaway that we got. But if you buy this red sticker, I'm giving it to you 10 entries to this giveaway. That's pretty much it for today. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and that's it.